And Chilhawi Park is hosting what could be its very last gun show. This comes after city council voted 8 to 1 to ban these shows at all owned city owned properties. Reporter Gabriela Hayes shows us the history of the move and what will happen next. This weekend marks what might be the last gun show held at Chilhawi Park. RK Shows manager Torin Curley says the company does plan to respond. Yeah, we, we plan on taking action due to this. There's been legal precedent set out in California. That's kind of what we plan on doing here. The resolution to ban gun shows at all city owned properties passed back in September. This passes eight to one. With some feedback from the community. Take the gun shows to another place. Councilwoman Gwen McKenzie is who originally introduced the ban. She represents the sixth district where Chilhawi Park has a history of hosting shows. It is a statement from city council saying that we hear the voices of the community who have been against having gun shows in East Knoxville for many, many years, especially after being labeled a gun zone. However, the vote doesn't hold on its own. It needs the mayor to enact it before it becomes official. As a mayoral candidate, India Kincannon came out in support of the move. The people, particularly in East Knoxville, and they say that the number one concern on their minds is gun violence. In a statement this week, she says, quote, I will continue the policy proposed and adopted earlier this year by City Council and Mayor Rojero to not allow new gun shows to be booked at city owned facilities. However, support for the ban doesn't come without opposition. This week, the CEO of RK Shows came out with a press release addressing the issue. He calls the ban a shallow virtue signal with no logical basis. He also responds to McKinsey, Kincannon, and other officials in support of the ban, asking them to conduct further research regarding gun safety.